If you're a beach and dive resort owner, here are the things you need to consider in choosing the best site para sa restocking ng mga giant clams. Number 1. Conduct a site survey. You just need to reach out Bolinao Marine Laboratory. Ito ay para ma-survey ang inyong lugar. Parang planting of trees kasi siya yung, yung restocking. So, kumukuha ka ng mga giant clams at ilalagay mo siya sa areas na wala. Kailangan naman na talaga natin i-survey muna yung sites. Kung okay ba at kung makasurvive ba yung giant clams. Kasi um, we aim nga na mapadami sila at mag-survive sila sa mga areas. We have to look at um, the environmental conditions kung magsusurvive yung giant clams sa areas na yun. Number two, choose a coral reef area. Kung um, magre-resta ka ng giant clams, maganda rin na parang coral reef area siya. Maraming um, other organisms. Number three, consider sunlight penetration and water turbidity. Yung light, uh, makapenetrate yung light, hindi sila super affected ng higher rise of temperature sa water. And then, titignan rin yung um, turbidity ng water if mala, uh, mataas yung sedimentation. Kapag turbid kasi yung water, mahirap magpenetrate yung light. And giant clams are photosynthetic nga. Uh, so, kailangan nila rin yung light to survive. 18 to 20 meters may penetration of light pass. And number four, avoid sites with strong current since filter feeders ang mga giant clams. Dahil sa mga conservation efforts tulad ng Adopt a Clam Project, muling dumarami ang mga taklobo dito sa bansa. Tinatayang mahigit 100,000 giant clams na ang naipoproduce ng proyektong ito. Over 50,000 giant clams na rin ang nadistribute sa mahigit 40 restocking sites sa buong Pilipinas. Patuloy ring pinapalawak ng iba pang government agency ang giant clam conservation tulad ng Department of Science and Technology, Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources Research and Development o DOSTPCAARRD. At the moment, meron coming project from uh, which is funded by the DOST Picard. It's called the Giant Clam Program and uh, uh, it is led by Dr. Patrick Cabaitan. So what we aim is to look at or determine kung ano na yung status ng giant clams after nung restocking. Also, we want to see kung ano rin yung status ng wild stocks. Yung mga nakita namin, marami pa tayong um, local stocks ng wild um, giant clams, different species. And yung Tridac na Gaigas, merong mga sites na nakakita na kami na nanganganak na sila sa wild. So, which is a good indication, indicator na nagsusurvive or nagtatrive rin yung giant clams. Pero at the moment, we're still looking more into it. And I think after the program, we, ha we will have more information kung nagsusurvive and nagtatrive na silang mag-isang.